Good morning, everybody. Happy, to, beautiful Tuesday morning. I came out this morning to share my testimony with you. Um, I was born in Point Claire, Quebec. I am the baby of a combination of 12 children from multi families, I guess, we're, we're 12. Uh, very dysfunctional home. My dad spent a lot of time in jail for different offenses. My mom was withdrawn and had severe mental health issues. And um, so there was a lot of neglect and a lot of, um, of abuse, but I basically brought myself up and um, got most of my morals and values from actually going to Hillside United Baptist Church, um, just watching the people around me and listening to God's word and just having God on my side. I was baptized at the age of 10 and it's a moment I'll never, ever, ever forget because it was the first time I ever felt sheer, sheer joy. like. I can't even describe the joy when I came out of that water. And um, it's a feeling that I've never felt again. And I've had a lot of amazing, 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 happy, happy days. But that was the most uh, joyful day of my life. Um, through the journey, I attended church probably for a year or two and um, attended everything possible. I was in the choir and theater skits and pioneer girls and love to attend anything where there was food involved and um yeah so i we moved again and um i stopped going to church and life just went on um i stopped going to church for 30 years but through that 30 years i had gained enough um faith i guess that I carried Jesus with me throughout the 30 years. If I would even say the Lord's name in vain, I would quickly apologize. And I just feel I got most of my morals from going to church. And I felt, uh, I felt his presence along the way. I would say I grew up with depression and anxiety most of my life because I remember it back, way back. But um, just got through it. Um, the 30 years went by, many, 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 many happy memories, some not so good memories, but uh, anyway, then I started going to Douglas Baptist Church 30 years later, and the funny thing happened is when I went in the church and attended that first service, it was as if I was back home to Hillside United Baptist Church. It felt amazing. I felt so happy. I cried tears of joy like every Sunday probably for a year, I would say. It was just, I, I was so happy to be there. And at the same time, something was happening to me that I did not know anything about. Um, as much as I was happy, on the other side of my brain, what was happening is um, I started suffering from PTSD. I had dis disassociation when I was a child, and I had disassociated from um, mental abuse as well as sexual abuse at the end, hand of my dad. Um, so that has been quite the journey. It's been five years now. I've gone through probably 30 different types of medication, trying to find the, the right ones, different therapies, and one works, one doesn't. Anyway, I'm hopeful for the day that I can just feel good. And uh, as right now, it's uh, it's kind of like a roller coaster, kind of up and down. but. What I can say is God is never far behind. He's always, always there. And he, from the beginning of time when I, well, probably from the beginning of when I got baptized, but definitely since I started going to Douglas Baptist Church, he has sent angels my way. And there's always been people there um, to help me out and just to be, um, 
I called them angels because they would show up or send a text or something when I would least expect it and when I felt very, very down and it would bring me up or send me a song or something like that. And um, that's still happening. So I call them my angels and they help me get through the day. And when things get too tough, I turn usually to Pastor Peter for, for prayer. But anyhow, I'm here to tell you that I know I'm going to get through this and by the faith that I have. And I'm so happy to uh, be a child of God. So you guys take care and I can't wait, can't wait to see you and to hug you and to kiss you. You take care. Thank you for listening to my testimony.